In a community reeling from one of the worst school shootings in history, I'm behind you. I'm behind you. still begging for answers and accountability. CNN has learned that one of the Texas state troopers under investigation for her actions at Robb Elementary has a new job as a newly hired school police officer at Uvalde Elementary, trusted with protecting some of the same students who survived the massacre. Stand by, stand by. Parents of children who were killed at Rob were the first to notice the officer, Crimson Elizondo, on campus, recognizing her from body camera footage of the shooting. Elizondo, a four-year veteran of the Texas Department of Public Safety, was one of the first law enforcement officers on scene on May 24th. She resigned from the DPS over the summer and was hired by the Uvalde School District soon after. I actually have some questions for you now. On the playground, outside her new post, Elizondo can be seen here in the dark blue uniform. Officer Elizondo, I'm doing a story about you and your time at DPS. I'd like to ask you some questions, if possible. Before Elizondo resigned from DPS, her actions and the actions of six other DPS officers at the scene of the shooting were referred for further investigation. In a redacted internal memo to the organization's director, obtained by CNN, DPS cited, quote, actions which may be inconsistent with training and department requirements as the reason for the referral. Despite early efforts by state officials to blame the local police department in Uvalde for the failed response, hey, we going in or we staying here? What are we doing? a timeline from body camera footage that's it, that's it. shows Elizondo arrived on scene just two minutes after the shooting began. The new information now indicates she was among several DPS officers on scene who potentially could have taken action to stop the gunman. <laughs> Footage shows her without a tactical bulletproof vest or long rifle at a step with active shooter training. She spends most of the 77 minutes before the classroom was breached outside the school. According to sources familiar with the investigation, Elizondo told investigators that without her gear, she was not comfortable joining the others inside. Out of nearly 400 law enforcement officers who responded to the shooting, 91 were from the Texas Department of Public Safety. Seven of those officers were referred for further investigation for their conduct that day. Shut the windows out. Crimson Elizondo is one of them. The other six still work for DPS, while the investigation into their actions continues. It is unclear if the Uvalde School District was aware of the investigation at the time of Elizondo's hiring. Sir? The district has not responded to emails, calls, or direct questions from CNN. Sir, do, uh, do you know this officer who you have recently hired? Are you aware that she's under investigation? for her actions on the day of the shooting? Do you think she's fit to serve here? Considering that her actions that day are under investigation? Mr. Miller, you don't want to respond to that? Elizondo's hiring raises further questions about the Department of Public Safety and the lack of transparency around the investigation and the conduct of its troopers. DPS did not comment for this story. I'm, I'm, well, I, I think what this is important. Do, no, Speaking wanna... to CNN in September, DPS Director Stephen McCraw promised he'll resign if his agency was shown to have culpability for the botched response. Hey, I'll be the first to resign, okay? I'll be gladly resign or tender my resignation to the governor, okay? If I think there's any culpability on the Department of Public Safety, period, okay? But we're going to hold our officers accountable. No one gets a pass, but every officer is going to be held accountable. Yeah, I mean, as good as you can be. CNN also learning that Elizondo was recorded on video after delivering medical care to survivors. Shooters 10-7. Reflecting on the horrors of what she saw inside. An officer asked if her children attend Rob Elementary. Elizondo's response. Your kids are there? Yeah, my, my son's in daycare. He's not oh. he's not old enough. All right, yeah. I saw you. Yeah, no. Really uh, no, if my son had been in there, yeah. in there, I would not have been outside. I promise you that.